guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're on the free to play account over on the test server and the patch has come up today. So we're actually gonna run through the Arcane Labyrinth, see if we can get a couple of the new relics. Now they're saying that the old relics have been expired, that they're no longer in here. So I'm hoping we can pick up some of the new relics and see exactly what the new relics are because I, I haven't gotten any of them and I haven't seen them. So we're gonna go ahead and run through a couple battles Again, not really the ideal formations in here. On the test server, I don't have a lot of the heroes. I don't have Arthur, I don't have Albedo. Um, there are a lot of heroes that we do not have on here. But here we go, so Maulers, we got the Branch, so those are all the same. I'm gonna go with the um, Horn on that one. And I'm not sure if they just did some of the Legendary Relics. Again, really hoping that we can catch and see a couple of the new ones. So we can make a list of the, the priorities when you come through here, especially running the Dismal Maze. So there is another one, guys, a brand new one. Each time allied mage heroes receive 400 energy, their damage is increased by 8%, can stack up to five times. So Shard of Intelligence, very cool. That, that's actually really strong, especially if you're running Ions, guys. That is super broken. I'm still going to go with the Icebringer because I, I think it might be a good one. But ultimately, we'll have to see um, if we can pick up a couple new relics or if we see a couple relics a few times. All right, so this one, we just get some energy shards. I'm thinking they took out the ones with Thane. They took out the ones with Belinda. Um, they, they took out a bunch of the relics that nobody used anymore. Taking out the relic with Lucius um, would, would really make sense. So there we go. So another shard of intelligence, which I'm going to pick it up this time because we have Ainz, we have Oden. And I'm going to run through here and I always do the path of the most resistance, guys. The more battles you can fight in here, the more loot you're going to get, which is the exact reason why you want to fight as many battles as you can, period, because you want to maximize the relics that you're picking up in here. So that one, we didn't have any new relics either. Again, really hoping that we get... Lucky with, with the, some of the choices of relics, really. And even running a legendary Taylene in here or a legendary plus Taylene. Um, so these are the same, same ones again. So we've seen one new relic so far, which I know there's got to be more than that, guys. They, they couldn't redo all of the relics and just come out with one new one. And be careful on here, guys. We, we still know that um, Thorin will kill people really fast, especially with that taint ability. All right, so another brand new one. Two of them, guys. At the start of battle, each allied hero steals 15% of the health from the enemy standing opposed and uses their health to create a shield. So you're gonna have a shield. Um, each affected hypogen in the battlefield increases life steal by 2%, which I'm not sure if that is life leech. And then the terrorizing Qatar. Before an enemy hero dies, allied warrior heroes will terrify nearby enemies for four seconds. Well terrified enemies will receive 30% more damage. Wow. So if you're running allied warriors, so you'd have to have allied warriors in here to go ahead and allow some crowd control. I'm going to go with the, with the demons artifact on that one. So very cool to see some new artifacts in here. And this is the reason um, I didn't run the dismal maze because I know we don't get as many artifacts. It's pretty limited in there. I was hoping in here we'd get a lot of the regular ones, but I, I do hope that these artifacts carry over to the Dismal Maze um, with a stronger version of them. There we go, guys. Beast Claw, we've seen Demon's Bite. When an enemy hero dies, allied hypogen heroes recover 20% of max health and gain 20% of the enemy's slain enemies attack and defense. Wow, so they are really buffing some hypogens in here. I know we're not running any right now, but very cool to see a couple of these new relics, guys. We also know that with the Dismal Maze and even in here, um, they have added the fact that they have engraving in here. And as a result, a lot of players are really struggling through the Dismal Maze because of the engraving factor. I'm hoping these relics will offset some of what we're seeing. Celestial Blessing. To start a battle, allied heroes are immune to control effects and receive 40 energy points every second for four seconds. Each allied celestial on the battlefield prolongs the effect by one second. So you could definitely get a much stronger buff in there if you're running the celestial heroes. 
I'm going to go with the Call of the Arms because I don't have any Celestial Heroes just like the Hypogen Heroes. Or no, I did have the Celestial. I forgot all about Taylene. My bad, guys. We could have prolonged our buff in here just a little bit longer to stack some energy, which would have been more than that Allied Call. We still left Nomura in here, guys. Really? Um, that's okay. But they still left Nomura in here. We'll pick up a copy of Lucretia. And as you can see, they're starting to get the engraving, guys. So my heroes die out pretty quick. I hope I can make it through this full run. Again, we might have to use um, some of our tiers if we can't. When it comes to the engraving, it's broke, guys. Guys, in the Cape of Dexterity, allied ranger heroes deal 10% more damage to enemies positioned in the other half of the battlefield and receive 10% less damage from enemies in the same half of the battlefield. Not too bad. That That's actually a pretty good buff right there. Remember, we mainly have casters in here. We do have a little bit of support. Have not seen a support relic yet, but I do not have any rangers. And we're all shielded at the beginning of battle. Again, those relics kind of making a difference to making progression in here, guys. It, it seems pretty, pretty strong. So Fortitude Breastplate, another new one. After an allied tank hero uses their ultimate ability, all allied heroes will receive a shield that has a value equal to 10% of the tank's max health for five seconds, which I don't believe we have any tanking heroes. So I'm going to go with the Hero's Hope again. And again, I know the combination for the heroes in here is not really ideal, but we make do with what we got, guys. Ainz is strong enough most of the time. He will just kill everybody anyways. Which is, oh, we lost Rowan on that one. This will make it an interesting run. So this is the stronger version. So instead of 40, that is going to give 50 energy points, which we do have Taylene in here. So that's going to be a pretty big energy boost in there and I think we have Silas on this team we do so we can swap in a support there now remember we're getting a shield and we're also getting a huge huge energy buff in the beginning of battle because of running the celestials all relics that we've seen before and I'm coming up here to try to bring Rowan back with this one There we go, guys. Got an alt right off the bat. Same ones we've seen before. You know what? We'll go with the Coral Vow on this one. Because I want to bring Rowan back right here. Resurrected a random hero, which we only had one hero that was deceased, and that was Rowan. There we go, guys. Getting a ton of energy off the bat with those relics. Very cool to see. Which I don't like when Ainz, it looks like it's uh, bugging out quite a bit in here though. Let's see, same, same, so those we have all seen before. Got a couple more guys, you know what, we're going to go, we'll go with the, the hard mode. See what we can do here. The overall, very cool with the new relics. Actually seem like they're going to um, make a little bit of a difference there. And I was waiting to see which ones we'd still see. Um, like again, Thanes, Belinda, things like that. So here we got these are all the same ones again. So we'll go with a little bit more damage there. Um, I just wonder which ones they phased out that were not very effective, or the couple relics that nobody ever used, which I know there were a couple that essentially nobody used. Look at that, guys. Five of our Reapers right there. That's a new one. Health and energy provided by allied support heroes is increased by 30%. Wow. Health and energy. That is pretty strong. Lucius is still in here as well. We're going to pick up that because we do have Rose in here for support. We have Rowan in here for support. And then we have Taylene for support. So not only is she getting that celestial artifact that we picked up, but she is also getting the support artifact. Celestial Fury. Allied Celestial Heroes mark the enemy hero that is dealt the highest damage and then attacks it once every eight seconds with lightning strikes, dealing damage equal to 20% of the max health and stunning them. So now Taylene is getting some lightning strikes in there too. 
It looks like there was a mark. Almost looked like there was a mark on a target there. The Celestials and Hypogens absolutely getting some love here, guys. Loot for the boss stays the exact same. But I mean, with Rowan and the amount of energy that we're getting here is just crazy. So hopefully we'll pick up maybe one new relic here. We got a couple shields off the bat. If Taylene dies, we know we're okay with that. Got a Moonstone, same ones. We've seen the Voodoo doll a couple times before. Go ahead and drink the waters and this will conclude the run, guys. So definitely some cool relics in here. Um, let me know what you guys, what relics you guys picked up, which ones you actually seen out of here. Um, we'll run through our relic list really quick just to take a look because that is our last chest right there. Boom, we'll pick up our loot. But looking at our relics, guys, Demon's Bite, Celestial Blessing, brand new. Demon's Deceit in there as well. The Book of Bene Benevolence, new as well. Shard of Intelligence, Celestial Fur Fury. And I'm sure all of these do have higher levels of them. Um, but overall, very cool to see some of the new relics in here. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know um, if you picked up different relics in here. Again, I know with the running the Dismal Maze is going to have limited relics. I'm not sure these new relics will probably be in there, but it's pretty limited. That's why I ran the Arcane Labyrinth, the regular one. That way we could check out these, these relics. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.